So it's always seemed to be the case that the, the January transfer window, Ali, is a lot less busy than the other transfer window. However, have you been surprised, as we take a look at, at some of the signings made by the Premier League clubs this January, at how few there have been and, and how little money has, has been spent? Or is it a case of, look, it's going to really ramp up before it's about to, to close? Well, I, I think what a lot of clubs now know, uh, if, and if they didn't know this before, they should have done their homework, is if you are a player or an agent who is in a position where you could be of interest to any club to come into the Premier League in, in this transfer window, you're in a position of power. And so you're going to demand more money than you would otherwise because not as many players are available in this window yep. as they are in the summer transfer window. And so therefore, the, the availability and, and, and the demand for a singular player becomes larger. And if that's the case, then you're going to have to pay above the true market value for that player, what you would pay for him in the summer window. Uh, there's less players available, and, and, and there's a lot of need, and there's a lot of teams. Mm -hmm. And so if you're, a, if you're a team, you don't want to make the mistakes of going and chasing Alexis Sanchez, for example, as, as Manchester United made. You, you don't, you don't want to make that mistake. And, and when you make those mistakes, now you are, you're hamstrung. You, you're, in a, you're put in a corner. And so you need to evaluate your needs. You need to evaluate and, and see, compare those needs to what is it that you're willing to spend. And are you better off saying, you know what, we're just going to wait till yeah. the summer. And I think when you go into a boardroom and make those decisions as a club, unless you're in a desperate, desperate situation, you say, you know what, we're going to hang on, we're going to hang on tight and, and really evaluate what is it that we need. We're not going to chase it and we'll see you guys in the summer. Okay, to use that phrase that you've just used, a desperate situation. Mm -hmm. Liverpool are not in a no. desperate situation. They've, supp uh, they've, they've supplemented their squad with Minamino. Man City are getting Laporte back at a timely, po uh, timely point of the season. Which teams for you, is there one or two above anybody else who are in a desperate situation and should be doing whatever they can to strengthen their squad this month? Well, the most obvious answer is Manchester United, and here's why. Manchester United is not only desperate to get players, but they're going to find themselves in a situation in the summer where all these other teams that passed on making moves in the winter window, they're going to be ready for the summer too. Mm -hmm. And they're going to line up alongside Manchester United, and they have, if they have similar offers, they are probably better opportunities for those players that are coming in and saying, wait a minute, but this team has Champions League, Manchester United doesn't. Mm -mm. I, well, look at the mess that is going on in Manchester United. Do I really want to be part of that? Is, is, this, is this what I feel comfortable doing with my career? No, how about this other team and this other team and this other team? So you find yourself in a position because you're desperate that you have to make desperate decisions. And this is when it's important that you have a plan as an organization. If you're Manchester United, you say, okay, wait a minute. I know this is bad. I know this is terrible. But this doesn't, this is not our philosophy. This is not what we want to do. And because we're desperate, we're not going to make silly decisions. Because that's what happens. With desperation, you start m making silly decisions. You start going into contracts that you shouldn't. And so they are the most obvious choice. But in order to make this, uh, these decisions to go after players in the winter window, you have to have a plan in place as to what your philosophy is in the club. And I don't think Manchester United has that in place. And so whatever decision they make now is just going to be to plug a hole. Whereas you plug a hole here, plug a hole there, and then there's water leaking everywhere else. Mm. That's the position that Manchester United are. And it's not going to be just one transfer window that resolves the no. issues for them. This is going to be years in the making because that's how big of a hole they're in. Well, we've seen the players that have moved in this transfer window. I think with just over a week remaining, there might be a few more ESPN FC, as always, for your transfer news. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.